starts with a look with all that it took I feel like I had too much champagne It starts with a touch I'm lost in the rush Boy, you like bubbles in my brain You're under my skin I'm drinking you in Like I can't get enough champagne Our bodies are close Need a heavier dose guys I know it's been like forever I said I was coming back took another hiatus but got good reason first of all it was not my doing <laughs> nothing really ever is well sometimes it is no last time it was because I was just like no I'm taking a break I'm gonna do what I need to do but this last time mother nature was just like no you're gonna sit down so I couldn't get up and do nothing good reasons um i told you guys that i was juicing hence to all the bottles up here <laughs> of me and my juicing es escapades okay and i'm still in my pjs it's still early in the morning it's like it's five o'clock in the morning um probably like 10 minutes to six so it's still like vaguely early that's why y'all see it's dark because your girl gets up at the break of dawn okay and just try to get my life together situated even on the weekend type of person i am to where i just can't i mean i have always been this way my older girls would tell you that that's the reason why they hate coming back home if they ever have to they try not to because they know their mama get them moving and banging stuff early in the morning they don't like it. but to each his own okay i'm the one that like to get up and get things done and i'm more productive in the mornings so but like i was saying i've been juicing okay and um uh, I've been doing it for a while. It's been a month, y'all. A little bit over a month that I have been juicing. Actually, I just took off from juicing because when I tell y'all, I decided to get this grand scheme of things idea. Now, mind y'all, I just been juicing everything from carrots, pineapple, celery, um, all type of leafy vegetables. I juice everything, okay? And I just been loving it. It's been, um, I feel doing wonders for my body. Um, there's things that I have noticed right away, and I'm gonna share that with y'all, like off the back that I was totally shocked about, but it does work. So um, if y'all wanna let if y'all wanna know the benefits and why I started juicing, hit that like button and put it in the comment section below. Yeah, girl, let me know why you juicing, what's the benefits of this, that, and the other, and I will try my best to explain to you guys. But anyway, I just decided to juice because I don't like taking pills, y'all. I really do not like taking pills. And a couple weeks ago, I told y'all my blood pressure was up, and I tried to find Google, okay? Although Google can be your friend and it can be your enemy at the same time but sometimes google does help you and i was just googling a lot of stuff on what's the benefits what's the natural things that i can take for as high blood pressure and so <clears throat> a lot of different things so i just been juicing and ginger and pineapples are like my main ingredients well to make a long story kind of short but informative um your girl decided now i started no, I was juicing beets, but what I would do because beets stain so much, so I was skeptic about juicing beets. But I found out the, the health benefits to drinking beets. Beets will lower your blood pressure as well, too. So when I first started juicing and when I would get the beets, I would cut it into fours. So I would take a quarter of it now and put it in the juice. But I decided to get this grand scheme id i'm like okay my blood pressure is up let me go full force on this and your girl decided to uh juice a whole beat a whole beat and a whole ginger not a whole ginger a half of a whole ginger and the gingers i get is pretty huge okay <laughs> i look for these okay and usually i in the beginning i would just only like cut off a nub okay and put that in my juice no your girl decided to take half of this half of this it was it was good and bad <laughs> but in the long run i know it's good as far as my health but when i tell you your girl was flushing like literally it 
I was literally cleaning my system out for a whole week. So picking up a camera was a no-go for me, okay? When I tell y'all it was like a tsunami up in here, it was just whoosh, whoosh. So much so to like about the, the second to the third day, your girl was so weak. I wasn't even eating, okay? I couldn't even eat because I just didn't have no appetite too. That was one. Um, and then I just didn't want to put nothing on my stomach either. I'm like, I can't do this. This stuff got to come out. And so when I tell you I cleaned my system for a good week straight, um, I would say yesterday, which was Sunday, was the first time that I really felt like, okay, it's a little bit solid. Because I never had a problem with going to the restroom. I always had a good bowel movement every day. I would go three, four, three, usually three times, not four. Four, then it, um, my stomach was really full. But the good thing about me is that whatever I eat, it comes straight out. So I never had a problem with that. Only other time just recently when I went to California, like, and that's, ooh, we ain't going to talk about that. But I went to California you're literally a year ago. And when I tell y'all everything I ate out there when I went back home, disgusting. Like all of my favorite place, I just, the mm, you can tell the difference. Y'all, it's a true saying. You can tell the difference, the meat that they put in certain areas, okay? Because when I came back home and I tell y'all I was clogged up. <laughs> Your girl was clogged up and I would drink coffee. Coffee makes me go. That wouldn't help, okay? So I had to clean, you know, keep drinking coffee and that eventually got me back to flowing normally again but i want to say i cleaned my system out for a week y'all and i keep and your girl couldn't pick up the video camera it's just it wasn't no way i wasn't even thinking about y'all and picking up no video camera okay i was just worried about me good and when i tell y'all once i cleaned my system out because i haven't cleaned my system out since i moved to arizona because i used to get those green box Detox teas are from the 99 cents. So back then it was 99 cents. Though. I had this little detox situation going on. Um, I would say it cleared my system and I felt a whole lot lighter. I'm not going to say that I will not do it again because I'm definitely going to do it again. Um, I'm just going to make it into like a routine. Because see, I would make beet juice, or, but I will you because I've been juicing, but I will make it for Papa too because he's like, yeah, make me some. And he drink his at night. He said, yeah, I go all the time at night. I said, really? Cause he preferred the uh, the beet juice as well, and I would just make me like the the celery and um, different veggies, the green veggies, green juice, um, turmeric, pineapple, just all that type of stuff, really for me. But when I tell y'all it cleaned me out, it cleaned me out, and if y'all do it, be prepared to be on that commode for a long time. Just, but I feel good because I know I detox my system just by me cleansing just cleansing and just constantly going to the restroom so that was a good thing so that's the why your girl wasn't on camera because i had to detox my system now let me share with y'all the juicer that i got um and i highly recommend it because when i say i juice everything i juice everything so this is the one i got here and like i said i got it back a while back but it's the arms chef when i tell you this cold presser juicer is amazing. It's amazing, you guys. So this is the one I, I got. I love this because I can juice a whole pineapple. Um, everything, okay? Like, I don't have to worry about cutting the skin off and that's one thing i like i like that because the skin the outside of the pineapple is where you get your most nutrients from so i like i just cut it in like a stick farm and just stick it down there and it goes okay and it throws out all the trash love it my veggies is on a low and some of them are going back because like i said i had to stop the juicing y'all I, I did i had to stop but see like my turmeric it's kind of getting to where it's withering away. So I definitely want to get some more of that. Some more beets and stuff like that, you guys, to juice. What I've been doing also. Oh, this is my hummus. I love this. My daughter got me hooked on that. I will take, like, my carrots and stuff and just cut it up and put it in containers. And I got to clean out my refrigerator. It's, it's bad. But let me show y'all. If I can. And 
and see and this is what i do i just cut up the pineapples like this y'all can see that i don't want to open it but yeah cut them up and just stick them all down in there and get the juice i'm gonna get back onto my juice and i i juice um cucumber oh, i did that it's kale but it's kind of going bad i'm gonna go through the ones that's i mean you cannot put this mm. I'm gonna use this kale because I wanna make me some zupa to start a soup. This just all fell. We're gonna rinse this off. Mm -hmm. I don't need that. Put that there, rinse it off, put it back in there. Look. Thanks, it's too high to be throwing stuff away. But I gotta throw these away because I mean, I could make some banana pudding, but oh, we don't eat bananas. Don't, well, Papa does. But everybody else, we, we don't, me and Hayla, we don't eat these bananas. So, I, yeah, this is a waste of money. <laughs> but I, yeah, we don't, we don't eat the brown bananas. I don't know. But you cannot um, juice the bananas. That's the only thing you can't do. But everything else, you can um, pretty much juice it. Like I said, that's what I've been loving, you guys. I just threw on some clothes. I'm going to get ready to make the little ones breakfast. So she can have that, but I think I'm gonna fry her up some bacon. I'm gonna use some of this today for my dinner and just fry her up a couple of pieces of bacon for her breakfast. Just to give her a hearty meal. So I did a while back and get a new air fryer. I think I might've mentioned in the last video. Um, I've been loving it because it's dual, okay? So when I'm making her lunch or dinner or whatever, I can cook two things at once and which makes it a lot more easier to do. And you do have two separate uh, temperature settings on here. So like I said, you can always be cooking more than one thing, which is great. And another reason why I like this one because it's so aesthetically beautiful and it can sit up on my counter. That's what I also like about it. Here we go. Come on. Air fryer. And she's gonna have some bacon, some oatmeal. They got these little, they got these new things out. They this is a cinnamon toast crunch oatmeal. And I was like, oh mama, I want to try that. So I'm like, okay, my child loves oatmeal. Give her that. I need to get one. No, I got milk outside. I got this splinter in my finger, y'all, from picking up that wood the other day. The other day I was craving cereal, and so I picked me up some cereal. And I seen that they had this, the Lucky Charm clusters. I've never seen this one. The clusters, not sponsored, <laughs> but the clusters, and I tried it, and it's pretty good, you guys. They had a recipe on the back, and Halo's like, oh, I'm going to do that. I'm like, uh-uh. That look like nothing but just a load of sugar. All of that, it might take too much time for me to even be having the patience to do. So we're not, we're not, no, we're not about to do all that. I also like the springtime that is coming up because y'all know springtime is one of my favorite seasons where I could just sit out on my patio, hear the birds chirping, and just enjoying the weather. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's just perfect. Let's see what these toppings look like. Like, like I said, this is my first time ever giving this to my baby, so let's see what it look like, y'all. Let's see. Come with me. What is this? Oh, it's just a bunch of cinnamon toast. Okay, like sprinkle. Cinnamon, okay. Ooh, that looks good. It does, huh? The toppings, let me know how you like it. Part of me that 
gets cold and numb with apathy Cause when I feel that way So the little one just came upstairs. She's done eating. So I'll let her get herself ready and then we're gonna head out. Yeah, tackle these stores. Um, I already made my grocery list, which is in my cloths. I just gotta remember to take it. That's a bad thing. <laughs> I gotta remember to take it. So I can go get the things I need to get. So I'll let her finish getting ready. Yeah. Brush teeth and brush you good, okay? All right. I reach out to you, but I'm young and still prideful. Need you to be mindful of me. Need you to be mindful. Where the fuck does your mind go? Where the fuck does the time go? Small talk kept the lights so cut to the chase. Get out my face. Need you to be mindful of me. Need you. I'm about to get her ready so you do her hair there's not gonna be no hair tutorial or anything like that um but I wanted to share you where would you share with you guys something that I have stomped upon that has been a game changer for us oh. I have been struggling with like a combing out Halo's hair let's get down um she has I think like three different textures in her hair. Ever since she was a little kid, I've been, and well, it's been, been getting more where it's growing. I have been struggling with just finding the right tools to comb her hair out with. I started out with the dimming brush. We have since retired this. Um, I would say this is more for coarser hair when forming the curls the coils and all of that this was a no-go a learning process for me um then i went to this little new gadget that came out maybe about three years ago uh, where it wouldn't cause so much tension on the hair it worked for a little bit but it still put her hair um out i want to say both brushes so once again, just trial and error, y'all. So the other, about a couple of weeks ago, I was in Sally's and I seen this brush. Cause I'm, like I said, just trying to find the proper brushes for her hair where she ain't hollering so much. And I found this one here. This is the wet brush. This is the shine enhancer. It's a difference cause there's a lot of wet brushes out there. But this is the shine enhancer where it has the bristle as well as like the little beads on the top. That has been a game changer for me and combing her hair out it doesn't pull her hair out as much and she does a when we first did it she was like oh it felt good she allowed me to like a comb her hair out um she tried to be dramatic but it's better than the other ones and it's not pulling her hair out as much so we're gonna see how long this lasts but so far i would say i'm loving the wet brush and it works best for um, my child's hair. Okay. 
word. Are you betting on me? Or is my enemy preferred? Are you down a ride? Can I really trust your word? Can I really trust your word? Cause I. So we made it back. Uh, picking up groceries for the week, pretty much. I wanted to kind of meal prep as well for the week. So I'm going to get ready to bring everything over and I'm going to share with you guys the things that I picked up for today. The thing that I got was some bananas. We need some bananas. Y'all seen where I tossed some out today. I like to get my bananas kind of green. I don't know about y'all, but I always prefer to get them green like this unless i'm about to make like banana pudding which is springtime banana pudding is about to come in the season so i might be getting yellow bananas when that time comes <laughs> um i did get me some more pineapple i try not to get them so ripe because i let them sit in my window until they get ripe and then i'll cut them up and put them in the jars i got some tri-color coleslaw because i think i'm gonna use this on some fish tacos tomorrow if i feel like cooking because i can feel like it today and tomorrow i won't but i got some coleslaw for that i also got some romaine lettuce because i like to cut this up put it in a container and have salad that's another reason why my stomach was messed up because i was eating a lot of salad too but hey it is what it is we're just trying to go the healthy route I got a bag of avocados. These are not the ones from Mexico, so I don't know how good they're going to taste, y'all. I like the ones from Mexico. They taste like butter to me. Literally, butter. I got some white eggs. I like to get white and brown eggs. I like the brown eggs more for a richer, ta a richer, richer taste. Um... So that's why I get two different, I get white eggs and brown eggs. White eggs, I don't care what it go in, but my brown eggs, I do. <laughs> um, since Halo liked it, her oatmeal, she's gonna try the, the Trix one. They also have like a Lucky Charm one, but she'll try the Trix as well. I needed chicken broth for my dinner for tonight. So I got two things of a great value brand of chicken broth i did end up getting another bag of kale simply because i also juice the kale so i'm going to need i was going to need another bag and i'm i don't know if i'm gonna toss that out y'all i just feel like it's gonna taste kind of bitter in my soup so halo put it down um so i just got a bag of kale i'll be having a hard time finding celery i don't know about y'all but this is all I could find. I'm gonna have to go over to my uh, Mexican market and see if they have some celery, but it'd be hard for me to find celery, y'all. And then I also needed some Italian sausage. I always get hot because I just feel like it's more flavorful for whatever reason, so I get the hot one. I get my favorite drink is, of course, sweet tea. I got me some heavy whipping cream. I'm for my dinner for tonight and just cooking period. I keep heavy whipping cream in half and half. Try to in my refrigerator at all times. And then I got the Fairlight milk. Y'all, I love this milk. This milk works best for my household. Um, buying a, even though it's expensive, but it just works better. It has 50% less sugar. It's high quality and protein. And no artificial growth products are in here. So... Um, I've been buying this for about a month and a half now, and I want to say I like it. I like it for my house, so plus it just lasts a long time. <laughs> so like that, I don't know about all that, but that's what it says it does. I picked up some Parmesan. This is the kind that I like to um, use in all of my meals, no matter what it is. I think Halo want these. Y'all kids like these things? I think these things are gross and nasty. Ew, but why? I don't like them. Halo loves eating these. Y'all seen where she just ate breakfast, right? Oh, this is open. I did I just I probably just opened this. Um, but she talking about she hungry again, so just leave that one out for her. They buy me some salmon because I do want to make some salmon. I had picked up last week of this 
sauce so i definitely want to try it it's by mccormick's lemon butter drill deal i'm drill deal <laughs> look that stuff is in my head about what's going all over the world but anyway so i definitely want to um try this lemon butter dill sauce on the salmon and see how it's going to taste this is Kalo's other burritos she said it's hers not papa so i had to put them in <laughs> the freezer down here the ones i get for papa i put them outside he know how to go to those and get those this is something new. I haven't seen this, but picked up this to give it a try. It was only a dollar, y'all. Have you guys tried it? If you have, let me know. It's by the brand called Naked. Vietnamese style vegetable pho. Uh, ramen noodles and a vegetable broth. Okay, and this is a mild. And then I picked up this one. This is a hot and sour. So... That was only a dollar, so I said, let me just try it out and see what it tastes like. For the non-food items, I, like I said, I needed to, um, I need to deep condition Hadle's hair. So I'm gonna try this Garnier Whole Blend Repairing Mask on her hair and see how it does. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this whole container. It smells good. I'm gonna use this whole container on her hair, I'm pretty sure. Cause I'm gonna do like a really deep, deep condition, and then I got this thoroughbred dentist formulated healthy smell oil rinse. I needed some mouthwash, so I got this. I needed to toss out my toothbrush, Sean. Just picked up the cheapest, and I got it in medium. I do like hard, but I'll go for medium if I can't find the hard one. So, two come in a pack, so we got that. I was needing some a WD-40, so got WD-40 to lubricate, lubricate the doors and things like that. My phone is going on. I got a wall plate. I need this for my bedroom because the one I had broke some long time ago and I still ain't replaced it. And then I got these coat hooks that I'm going to put in the other bathroom, like on the wall, so... I just picked up two of these, two come in a pack. I only really need three, but whichever, I might make it all work. So I got two of those. And then what Halo is more excited about, they bringing out all their spring stuff. So she wanted a water gun. I think this is like $5. And this is the Adventure Force Water Strike Storm Quencher or whatever. I think once before we just got the cheap ones and they don't really shoot. So I got this one and then we got the big one here for her. So turn around this way. Huh, how this one. So this one is the, yeah, water strike. It says the same, oh, typhoon burst. So yeah, so this is the typhoon burst one. So we're going to, when it heats up a little bit more, at least we already have them. Because, you know, these things just be flying off the shelf. Adults buy them and everything. So that's all that I picked up from the store. So I'm going to um, get ready to put my stuff up <laughs> and um, get ready started on my dinner for today. It's 9 o'clock and I do. I like to get started on my dinner early. I'm just like that, especially if it's super simple so that way it can take its time to cook. And usually while a little one be asking when she come home, she can just eat right away. But I just wanted to share with you guys ooh, everything that we got. Hey, do you still want this burrito? Yep. Okay.
still. This is how you make a burrito. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all, so now I done already got started with my food. Um, I cooked my bacon that I cut up that I'm going to be using. And right now I am cooking my, let me show y'all, my Italian sausage. And then once that get done, I'm going to set it to the side too. And then I'm going to like cook my onions next. cut off because my memory card was full. I think I need to buy some more memory cards if I'm going to continue doing this. <laughs> um, so right now I just sauteed some onions. I'm putting my chicken broth in there. Rinse my potatoes. I'm going to put that all in there and I'm going to let this cook. Why is this in the middle? So we're going to... Um, Bring this to a boil. Do what? I don't know. Okay, y'all, I'm just going to end this video right here. I hope you guys got a glimpse. Or it's, or you do get glimpse. So let me just say, I hope you guys enjoy a little glimpse of a day in our life. My Zupa Takana soup is still on the stove cooking. I did place my bread sticks in the oven. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. I want to get this video up. Hopefully by Tuesday, no later than Tuesday for you guys since I've been missing in action. So that's why I'm going to cut it real short. Um, the little one is outside here. She's um, chilling with the dogs somewhere. There she is. Outside playing. Wait, 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 wait. I want to come outside and sit on my patio. Okay. And there's fat boy. Fat man. He needs a haircut and, oh, and a bath. Stinky self. <laughs> So she's out here playing with the dogs, you guys. So as always, be sure to give us a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and turn on your post notifications. That way you'll be notified every single time I come on here and upload a video and y'all see this beautiful face of mine. As always, y'all continue to stay safe. Do you enjoy life and live it like it's your last.